Hello friends, this video on coordination compound part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Explain two examples for each of the following. The coordination entity, ligands, coordination number, coordination polyhedron, homoleptic and then we have discussed this, I'll uh, touch upon these a little fast way. See coordination entity is what? Coordination entity is nothing but uh, electrically charged species carrying positive and or negative charge. It has the central metal atom surrounded by ligands. That's all. For example, let me talk about coordination entity. So it has central metal and the ligands. And it will have charge. For example, in this case, a plus charge. If you take PtCl4, it will have minus charge. If you take nickel with cobalt, it will have zero charge. So it can be positive charge, negative charge, or neutral. But it will just have metal and the ligands. It will not have the counter ions. That is coordination entity. The ligands, we know ligand is nothing but the neutral or negatively charged ion that surrounds the metal in the coordination entity. So these are my ligands. NH3 is a ligand, neutral. Cl4, Cl minus is a ligand. So Cl minus here is negative charge. NH3 is neutral, right? OH minus, NO, there are so many ligands. They can never be positively charged. They can be neutral or negatively charged. If neutral, they should have lone pair of electron to donate. For example, ammonia has lone pair of electron to donate. CO has lone pair of electron to donate. Water has lone pair of electron to donate. So these are ligands. Done. Coordination number. Coordination number is the number of ligands attached to central metal atom. For example, in this case, nickel, three metals are attached. Sorry, this is six. Right? Six. Coordination number is six. Platinum, 6 chlorine attached, coordination number 4. Here, CO, 4 carbon attached, 4. So, number of unidentate ligands. If it is bidentate ligands, I will count it twice. For example, let's suppose I have Ni, En, 3. Plus. So, this is 3 ligands, but all these are bidentate. So, coordination number is 6. And please note, coordination number, we count only sigma 1. For example, in this case, NiCO4, each will have each NiCO bond has one sigma and we have pi bond also but pi bond is not taken into effect only sigma bonds are common okay done the next is co coordination polyhedron coordination polyhedron is nothing but the special arrangement of the ligands in this three directional space for example metal can have this kind of space the square pinna or metal can have tetrahedron shape or metal can have Octahedron. Okay, so this spatial arrangement in the space is called coordination polyhedron. And what is homoleptic and heteroleptic? See, homoleptic complex is the one in which we have only one kind of ligand. For example, in this case, only ammonia, homoleptic, only chlorine, homoleptic, only carbonyl, homoleptic. That is homoleptic complex. Heteroleptic complex in which we have multiple type of ligands. For example, CO you have NH3 and then you have Cl2 also. So if you see in this cobalt, ammonia is a ligand, chlorine is a ligand. Two different type of ligand. So it is a heteroleptic complex. The next question is what is meant by unidentate, didentate and ambidentate ligands. Unidentate ligands, only one donor in the site example NH3 only one donor side Cl minus only one donor side by di or by dentate two donor for example you have uh, ethane one to diamine CS2 CS2 here I have NH2 here I have NH2 so here this is the these two are donor side this nitrogen has known pair this nitrogen has known pair or oxalate CO minus CO minus one side, two side, two sides are there for donating electrons. Here also two sides. These are called didentate. Ambidentate, the word came from ambidextrous. That means potential, they can donate from two sides, but at a given point of time, they donate from one side only. For example, metal can bind to nitro group from nitrogen, or metal can also bind from this. So here there are two poss possible sites, either nitrogen or oxygen. In both cases, I am taking NO2 group. 
ओके और लेट सपोज दिस वन सो एस सी एन और एम एन एस सी एन सी एस एक्सी सो इन दिस केस बोथ आर हैविंग एस सी एन बट इन दिस केस नाइट्रोजन इज डोनेटिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन टू मेटल एंड इन दिस केस सल्फर इज डोनेटिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन टू मेटल ओके दिस इज थायोसाइनेट दिस इज आइसोसाइनोसाइनेट दिस इज नाइट्रो ग्रुप दिस इज नाइट्रीटो ग्रुप दैट इज समथिंग वी नो बट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एमबी डेंटेड एंड डाई डेंटेड इज इन डाई डेंटेड एट अ गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम टू साइड विल डोनेट इलेक्ट्रॉन इन एमबी डेंटेड एट अ गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ओनली वन साइड विल डोनेट इलेक्ट्रॉन लेट सी दिस न्यूमेरिकल हेयर वी टू स्पेसिफाई द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ मेटल्स इन द फॉलोइंग कॉर्डिनेशन एंटिटी The first one is COH two CN minus EN two. You can directly write here actually. See EN is zero. CN is minus one. H two is zero. And let cobalt be X. So X plus zero for H two minus one for CN zero for EN two is equal to plus two. Do you understand? You saw this X is plus. It is easy. The next is PtCl4. Here also, chlorine is minus one, and platinum is let's suppose X. Let's solve the value. X plus four chlorine four into minus one is equal to over or minus two. You saw the value of X. X is plus two. Let's check next. CrNH3Cl3 with a zero charge here. Okay. So chlorine is minus one, and S three is zero. Let chlorine be x. X plus and S three is zero. Plus chlorine is minus one, three into minus one, three chlorine molecule. Overall there is zero charge here. So this all the value of x is plus three. The next is CO Br two En two plus. So let's assume this is zero. En is zero. We know bromine is minus one. Cobalt is x. Protein is plus one. Let's put the value x plus. Minus one into two. Why? Because there are two bromine. E n is zero. Overall, plus one. To solve the value, x is plus three. Let's take the last one. K three Fe C n six. So this potassium is what minus plus one. Okay. Iron is let's suppose x. This is what we have to find. We have to find the oxidation number of the settled metals. C n is minus one. So let's try. And the overall it is zero. So K three is what. Three into plus one plus iron is x plus six into minus one for cn overall zero. To solve this value, x comes out to be plus three. So this is the oxidation state. So for all, it is plus three except platinum, it is plus two in this case. Okay. We have to write the formula for this. Okay. So it is. Tetra hydroxo zincate. Tetra hydroxo that means four hydroxo is done. Zincate that is a zinc with a plus two oxidation state and zincate that means overall it will have minus charge and actually you can make out this is plus two and OH is minus charge so OH is minus one into four minus four minus four and plus two overall it will have minus two charge. This is the form. The next is hexamine cobalt two sulfate. Let's put the value hexamine. There is three. Hexa is six. Hexamine is done. Cobalt two CO. Right in the beginning. Cobalt with the plus three charge and sulfate. So for that sulfate, you need to balance how many sulfate will be there, right? So cobalt is plus three charge. This is zero. So overall it has plus three charge. Okay. And sulfate has typically minus two charge. So how will you balance? We will multiply this by three, and this will be. So this will have three into two plus six charge, and this will have three into minus two minus six charge. Overall, it will be balanced. Okay. The next is potassium tetra chlorido palladate. So first we write potassium, and then tetra chlorido tetra chlorido four Cl done palladate. So this is PD, and this whole thing is my. Coordination entity with the plus two charge here, and chlorine will have minus four charge, minus one for each. Overall, it will have minus two charge. So minus two charge has to be balanced with potassium. Potassium has one charge, 
but this has minus two charge, so we'll take two potassium, so that will have plus two charge. Plus two charge, minus two charge will be balanced. Okay. The next one is potassium trioxalatochromato. So there's a potassium here, then trioxalato, that is C2O4, that is three, and chromate. Cr, this is an 8, that means it is a negative charge here. And this is plus 3. And chromate each has minus 2 charge, so it will be minus 6 charge, minus 2 into 3. Four will have minus 3 charge, and this has plus 1 charge. So plus 1 charge cannot balance minus 3 charge. So I'll take 3 potassium so that we get plus 1 into 3, and plus 1 into 3 is plus 3, plus 3 minus 3 cancel. This is the formula. Okay. The next one is diamine. First, let me write diamine and it's 3. Dichlorido, dichlorido, platinum, Pt, plus 2 charge, plus 2 charge. You see the balance, the charge now. This is plus 2, chlorine has minus 1 into 2, minus 2, ammonia has 0. So overall, the charge is balanced and it's a neutral compound. Okay. Let's write some more uh, formula. Hexamine platinum 4. Hexamine, let's write first NH3, 6. So hexamine, platinum is Pt. Platinum with a charge plus 4, ammonia has a charge 0, overall charge it will have is plus 4. The next one is potassium tetracyanonicleate. So let me write here potassium first and tetracyano that means 4 Cn and nicolate Ni that means all this whole thing is a coordination compound with a negative charge here and let's see how much negative charge it will have. Nickel will have plus 2 charge which is mentioned here. Cyanide minus 1 charge each, so more into minus 1 is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 2 overall charge will have minus 2. Minus 2 charge and potassium 1 charge cannot balance. So you will multiply this with the 2 potassium. So the plus 2 and minus 2 is balanced. It will be K2NiCN4. Okay. The next one is tetrabromido cuprate. So I have a tetrabromido Br4 and cuprate Cu. It says cuprate that means it has a negative charge. Let's see cuprate copper with a plus 2 charge. Bromine each minus 1. Minus 1 into 4 is minus 4. Overall, if you see minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 charge. That's why it is cuprate. So it is CuBr4 minus 2 charge. The next is pentamine nitrito O cobalt. So let's write this is not nitrito N, this is nitrito O. Let's see. Pentamine, let's first write pentamine 5 of ammonia. Then nitrito O. O -N -O. And then cobalt cobalt with the plus 3 charge. Let's balance the charge. This is plus 3 charge. This is 0 charge. This is minus 1 charge. So overall it will have plus 2 charge. Next one is pentamine nitrito. Pentamine nitrito N cobalt. So let's see. Pentamine NH35. Nitrito N. This time it will be NO2. And cobalt is CO. And cobalt is 3 charge and NO2 is minus 1 charge. This is 0 charge. Overall charge minus, three plus, minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2. That is overall charge. That is the form. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.